There was a saying in the Old West that went, God created men, but Sam Colt made them equal. To say that the Old West was a violent place in the 1800s would be the classic understatement. Most men and some women carried firearms, and many weren't afraid to use them. Following is a list of ten shooting stars of that period. Sam Colt patented the revolver, which enabled a gun to be fired multiple times without reloading. The Colt Patterson was introduced in 1836 as a 28 caliber revolver and took its name from the Colt plant in Patterson, New Jersey. It was the first commercially sold multiple chambered revolving cylinder firearm with a single barrel. The Patterson was popular with Texas Rangers fighting Indians in the 1840s. A unique feature of the Patterson was its folding trigger, visible only when the gun was cocked. The Sharps rifle was designed in 1848 and was the top buffalo rifle when the great animal still roamed the plains in large numbers. It is credited with dispatching more of the giant beasts than any other weapon of the era. The Sharps was chambered in powerful rounds, capable of long-range shots and tremendous knockdown power. It was adopted by a number of armed forces around the world and was favored by legendary Calamity Jane. Quite interestingly, some Civil War versions of the Sharps carbine had a built-in hand-cranked coffee grinder along the stock. This lightweight cap and ball revolver was Colt's first major commercial success in the firearms industry. They sold 215,000 of the 36 caliber pistol. The cylinder was engraved with a Texas Navy battle scene. Doc Holliday and Robert E. Lee were among those that counted the Navy revolver as their favorite weapon. When Wild Bill Hickok was killed during a Deadwood, South Dakota poker game, his Colt Navy revolver was sold to help pay his burial expenses. Benjamin Tyler Henry was a brilliant gun designer. His 1860 rifle was a breech-loading lever action which featured a high rate of fire from a 15-round magazine and a brass receiver. It was a very popular rifle during the Civil War and was the weapon of choice among the Sioux and Cheyenne at the Battle of the Little Bighorn. The Winchester Model 73 was based on the design of the 1860 Henry. Colt had a factory fire in 1864 which gave rise to Remington Arms Company and their Remington 1858 revolver. The 1858 was a staple among Union soldiers in the Civil War and the years afterward. This Remington revolver is a six-shot percussion revolver which is accurate, powerful, and durable. There are three models of this pistol with each successive model offering improvements. The 1868 version offered metallic cartridge conversion. Buffalo Bill Cody used an 1858 Remington from 1868 to 1906. He gave it to his ranch foreman with a note that read, It never failed me. Cody's Remington eventually sold at auction for $239,000. Breech loading rifles, guns loaded from the rear chamber, provide a great advantage for someone under attack in that it can triple or quadruple the number of rounds one can fire. That is precisely what the Springfield Model 1866 offered its users in that era. The only drawback to the design is that breech system parts used in the 1866 were small and unreliable. Nonetheless, the rifle became the design basis for rifles used by U.S. troops well beyond the Civil War and into the Old West. Buffalo Bill Cody earned his nickname in a bison shooting contest he won using a Springfield Model 1866. Annie Oakley used three Smith & Wesson No. 3s in her extremely successful career as an incomparable markswoman. 
The six-round revolver was also popular internationally. It was chambered for 44 Henry Rimfire and 45 Schofield, named for Major George Schofield, who modified the design to better suit the cavalry's needs. Variations of the number three became staples of Russian Empire conflicts in the 1870s, and Smith & Wesson exported the pistol to Italy, Romania, Spain, and Japan. The Colt Single Action Army Revolver, the Peacemaker, was the standard military service revolver through 1892. It was an extremely popular pistol and was among the most famous firearms of the West. The six-shot revolver first came to the market in 1873 and was developed in 30 different calibers and multiple barrel lengths. Whenever Colt proposed taking it off the market, demand increased. General George Patton, who began his service career in the horse cavalry, carried a peacemaker with ivory handles engraved with his initials. It was purported that White Earp carried a Buntline special peacemaker into the OK Corral. Untrue, but Old West myths don't die easily. The famed Winchester 1873 is often dubbed the gun that won the West because it is so prominent in Hollywood films. This iconic lever-action rifle grew out of the famed Henry rifle, and Winchester sold 720,000 of them, including a shorter carbine model. It was chambered in 4440 and had a toggle link action, sliding dust cover, and crescent-shaped butt plate. John Wayne had a large loop lever added to an 1873 so he could twirl it pistol-like in the 1939 film Stagecoach. <laughs> Hold it! Whoa, steady, ho, ho. Hey, look, it's Ringo. Yeah. The final member of the OS Top Ten Guns is not a brand, but rather a style of gun, the double barrel shotgun. The double barrel is made in side-by-side -side in over and under versions, but the side-by-side -side is the one that was used in the Old West. It is breech-loaded in the rear chamber with a purpose-built shell loaded with shot or pellets. A double barrel shotgun is lethal at short range and was a favorite of the guard who rode with the stagecoach driver. That is where the term riding shotgun was coined by modern-day passengers in automobiles riding in the front passenger seat. These ten guns mentioned are by no means a complete list of weapons used in the Old West but are a group that stood out as staples of the Westerners of that era. If you enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up, make a comment, or most importantly, subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching.